Hello my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. I love homemade burgers. They're one of my summer favorites. I have dozens of recipes on the website and year after year, they just keep coming. Today, I have another one that is so tasty and it's my bison burgers with bourbon onion jam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Season and grill perfectly before being topped with that amazing jam. These are incredibly delicious. I must try this season. So let's get cooking. First, we'll start by making the patties because they need to be refrigerated for at least two hours. This is what I'm using. And you should be able to find ground bison most of the time at your supermarket. And if not, at your local butcher. They should have it. All right, so in a large bowl, we'll add two pounds of this meat and panko breadcrumbs, which we'll have to grind a quarter cup of it and leave the other quarter cup intact. The reason is the meat is so lean and we want to make sure it will adhere nicely. Simply use a spice grinder to make it super fine. To this, we'll add a beaten egg, some sweet and spicy German mustard, which my recipe is coming up in September. But in the meantime, you can use Dijon or even stone ground mustard, plus ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. With our clean hand, because it works better that way, We'll combine the ingredients together. Don't overmix, okay? Then we'll divide the meat mixture into four equal balls before forming them into patties. I'm using a burger press as it does the job perfectly. Plus, I can be lazy once in a while, right? We'll place them in a large pie plate, cover tightly with plastic wrap so the meat doesn't dry out, and transfer to the fridge for at least a couple hours, but preferably eight hours. Later on, when we're ready to cook the burgers, we'll start the jam while the patties get back to room temperature. In a medium skillet over medium high heat, we'll add butter as well as olive oil. When it's melted and starts sizzling, We'll add our Lyonnaise cut onions and season with ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. We'll saute them for two minutes, making sure the onion slices are well coated. We'll cover, reduce the heat to medium, and cook for eight minutes, stirring often. When time is up, we'll add a large pressed garlic and saute for only one minute. We'll reduce the heat to medium-low and continue cooking for another 10 minutes, stirring frequently. We want to caramelize the onions, not burn them. 10 minutes later, we'll pour in some bourbon, mix it well, bring the heat back to medium, and cook until the liquid is almost evaporated, stirring often. This entire process should take about 10 minutes and we'll end up with amazing bourbon-flavored onion slices. Also, like I always say, we'll taste and adjust if necessary. Mine needed just more salt and pepper. Of course, if we add anything, we'll have to stir. We'll keep it warm until needed. Back to the burgers. When the temperature reaches 450 degrees Fahrenheit, We'll place our patties on the grates that have been oiled and close the lid. We'll grill them for five minutes before flipping them. When I filmed this recipe, my husband totally forgot to oil the grates. Trust me, they have to be oiled, otherwise the meat will stick like this. Keep in mind that bison is a very lean meat. Anyway, We'll grill the other side for five minutes as well, or until the internal temperature reaches between 135 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. About three minutes before they're done, we'll place the hamburger buns, close the lid, and toast them for two minutes 
before topping the patties with cheese slices. We'll close the lid once again and grill until the cheese is melted and the buns are nicely grilled. To assemble, we'll place lettuce on the bottom bun, followed by the patty, and then add the bourbon onion jam on top before placing a tomato slice. We'll serve immediately. And my friends, these are our bison burgers with bourbon onion jam. Delicious and juicy, these lean burgers are a great alternative to beef. Top with this incredible condiment, this recipe is sure to please everyone. I hope you give them a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit! Bye.